Do you understand what you do to yourselves? You understand that when you despair, you don't just reach yourself, you reach the whole. But there's no point in talking, right? You never learn. No one can make mistakes with you, no one can delay you, no one can have any problems, because no one is on this side to know what is happening on this side. But you judge, you criticize, you talk. You don't write but you think, because I see your thoughts. Or do you think not, that I don't know what's going on in each of your heads? Be careful with your thoughts, be careful with your judgments, be careful with your criticisms. You are planting this, don't cry tomorrow, because the harvest will come exactly against you and I will not be the one to do anything. No one will do anything to make this happen, you yourself are planting to reap later on. Read Sananda's letters and you will understand this. And he'll tell you more, I've already said it here and he'll repeat it, there's always something behind the lesson for you, to see how hard you really are in the lessons and you get a zero grade. Or do you think we don't manipulate things from behind, to happen in way A or way B? Just to do a test with you? Everything was done from one day to the next, exactly so that there was no time for much preparation, everything was a little out of context. It's a test, for her and for you. She did as much as she could. So, what do you have to say? Nothing, because I'm right. So learn. The tests are there. Do you want to maintain the advanced level, who is already ahead? So pay attention to the details, to the small tests, because these are the ones that make us see how far you have learned or not. And I can say that a majority here, didn't learn anything, and repeated the same mistake. New tests will come. And I want to see how far you will repeat the same behavior. My brothers, Ascension is knocking on the door. Every time you get stressed, misaligned, unbalanced, I already showed this image too, you are climbing a mountain, which is not easy, it is a mountain of great difficulty. And when you do that, that last nail you slip and go back down there, a few meters below and you will have to climb all over again. But you don't believe me, do you? They think I'm talking nonsense. Learn to wait. If you have a problem you will be notified, if you were not notified there is no problem. There is only waiting, waiting calmly, calmly, for the time when it will appear. But no, you despair, you make God and the world desperate too, because you poke everyone. So I'm going to leave you with a question here today, tomorrow, no, I'm not even going to talk about tomorrow, because they're going to say I said it was tomorrow. In a while, I don't know when it will be you will be left without communication. What will you do? They go to the middle of the street and shout, I have no communication. That's it, are you going to die because you won't have communication? Will you forget everything you were taught? Ah, I remembered, the beings of light also talk to you through devices, right? Or will it be that moment, when you think, well, the time has come for me to look inwards, because the vibration of the world is going to be horrible. So for those of you who have the knowledge, the awakening, the awareness, it will be a time to be still. Everyone around you is desperate and you are okay, and you close yourself off as much as you can. Ask the beings around you for help to withstand all that pressure and go within. Let the world end outside, you will be balanced. It's the least I expect from you. Or will you fall into despair? along with everyone else? Then it will be a test to pass the level and I would really like you to pass this test. Because every day, the ascension is closer, and you don't seem to be worried about it. They are more concerned with their surroundings, with judgments, with criticism. Yes, the walk isn't pretty, it's very up and down. And you end up, because remember, when you go up it's one step a day, now when you do things that are not good for you, it's not one step you go back, you go back two, three, depending on the intensity of what you made. Then realize that you are falling more than you are rising. So where is your attention for ascension? Did they forget everything? Have you forgotten that you have a path to follow? Have you forgotten that you have a goal? 
I think so, you forgot. So I'm here, exactly, to remind you. Because if I didn't love you all, I wouldn't come here to scold you. What would I care, what are you doing? But as I have unconditional love, as I want to see each one of you there in the fifth dimension, I come here to scold you. And I will come whenever necessary. If you don't like it, just don't listen. It's so simple, just don't listen. Stay out of it, you have your free will, so do what you want. Now, as long as I am the manager, the manager, the general of this entire group, because this group is under my protection, I will come here and scold you. And if anyone doubts that it's me, because angels don't talk like that, ask me for proof and I'll give it to you, that here it's me, the Archangel Michael, who's speaking, ask me for proof. Don't criticize, don't judge before asking me for proof, ask me for proof and I will give it to you. That I am the one speaking here, Archangel Michael. My brothers, I am not afraid of anything. Me, afraid of what? And you also don't have to be afraid of me, not of me or of anyone else. Because no being of light punishes. You have to be afraid of yourself, of the attitudes you take, because these are the attitudes that you will reap later on. For us everything is fine. We do nothing against you. Anything. Neither God nor any being of light does anything against anyone, it's you who does it. So don't say that I'm punishing, because I'm not. I am pure unconditional love. Am I scolding? Do. Do I attract attention? I call, because I love you and I want you to stay in line. Now I would never punish any of you, because this doesn't exist. You reap what you sow that's it. I am Archangel Michael. And I will leave each of you with this question today, what will I do, when I have no communication at all? And I'll enjoy seeing the answers. I'll like it a lot.